Sorry about the lock. These are dangerous times. Welcome to the Magpie Oh my Emporium. god, she looks so hot! <laughs> It's You're Jessica, and welcome back to Life is Strange Don't you True Colors. Me? Oh, eh. oh, yeah. Um, of course. <laughs> um, it's been a long time since Carneris. We're still role playing. Exactly. Those were good times, huh? <whistles> Except for the spiders. Yeah. <laughs> So awkward, but um, we're gonna be continuing on with our LARP. Hopefully, we can cheer up Ethan because he agreed to like at least try it out. But uh, um, I'm, I'm I'm getting the feeling he's starting to get into it. Oh, Joy. Alex really saved the day. Gabe would be proud. Aww. Thanks, Jed. Please find the three jewels. Time is of the essence. He's right. happy. That's it. really good. I'm glad that like he's he's happy about it. Okay, let's let's start looking around for the jewels. But I imagine I can start looking around for like other stuff. How do we know where to look? I think we don't know. It's a true adventure. Oh. <laughs> we have to look for ourselves. This is this is so pretty. They made it so beautiful because also it's a spring festival too, right? So they're gonna get all the flowers and everything out. Um, maybe we can start to talk to people in town and see if, uh, we can get something new. Ooh, a scroll! Scroll of healing restores you and your allies to full health. Remove all negative status effects, poison, stun, etc. May only be used once. What is that? Cool! It's a magic scroll we can use in fights. Oh, awesome! We should find as many as we can. That's true, we're gonna need it. <laughs> okay. It's a wolf. A dire wolf. Shit, what do we do? I think we have to fight it. Yo, Ryan looks like a huge dork. I love this. <laughs> Are we actually battling? Wait. No way! Oh, that's actually cool. Okay, so we got 10 health points, right? Ethan. Uh, attack. Uh, stab. <clears throat> Two damage. <sighs> okay, let's do Alex. Magic. Stirring him. This is her, like, healing attack. Or not healing attack. Her, um, uh, uh, attack booster spell. I don't know. For Thanor. Stirring him. Double Thanor's next attack. <sighs> ah! Two damage. <laughs> okay, Ethan, attack, burning blade. Burning blade. Two damage, <clears throat> and you're on fire for the next two turns. Okay, Alex, attack. Untune cord, sure. Untune cord, <clears throat> one damage. Oh, he drops stuff. That's cool. Oh my god, this this uh, LARP is so immersive for Ethan. Oh, cool. I learned a magic attack. <laughs> One damage to allies. Better be nice to Thanor. New skill acquired. Class warrior. Skill fire blast. Type magic. Effect three damage to enemies. One damage to allies. Maybe use once per battle. That's cool. Let's keep going. All right. Yo, Ryan, my bad, but you're gonna have to stay on the ground like that. What do you like think that. this key is for? Mm. Maybe it unlocks something in one of these stores. Wait, dollar? I swung over the top once. No way. Prove it. I'll give you a dollar if you can. I did! I don't have to prove it. I'm gonna tell my mom you called me a liar. <laughs> Do it, dude. I dare you. <laughs> oh, can we not give that back to Gabe? Can we not give back to Ethan? Like, Ethan can take it. You would have really had fun with all this. Oh, definitely. Dire wolf corpse. This is actually really fun. I know, right? Wait, I can annoy Ryan? How do we know for sure it's dead? 
Should we tickle it? Stop it. Be serious. Okay, okay. I was gonna be funny and try to like poke fun at Ryan. Anyway, okay, let's see what else we can find. So we got a key that will lead us to somewhere, of course. We'll figure it out. It's over here. Let's go to the peach. Hmm. Another scroll! Stores your allies full health. Cool. Found a scroll? Yeah. More healing. Ice cream cake? Aren't I supposed to be the one teaching? Hey, hey. What's all this? Too busy to talk right now. Sorry. Knock him dead. <laughs> Ethan's back to his old self, thank God. Aww. What a great kid. Ethan's looks like the Black Clan. Oh, God, they cut it life. off. Okay, but I'm glad the people in town are, like, noticing, too. That's really nice, because there's such a tight-knit community. Who's this? Jester. Heed my warning, you traveling twosome. For within that tavern, it is quite gruesome. Hey, let's hear your riddle. There are three, it is said, heroes long dead, fashioned into soul jewels, blue, violet, red. That's what we're looking for. What are their names? Do not be misled. How are we supposed to know that? Maybe we can look for some clues. I think so. Hang on, let me check out his... I can't remember the last time I had this much fun. That makes two of us. I'm glad people are actually like having fun with this too. That's like really sweet. Okay, um... I'm looking out for like scrolls, you know what I mean? Just in case. What's that about? I just haven't slept. You know? Every time I close my eyes, my brain pulls up all these thoughts. Hmm? These regrets. So I just lie there, crying and feeling like a horrible person. You mentioned regrets. Can you drill down on that? What is it that you regret? I don't know. I'm not sure of anything right now. Is that, like, before the accident or after? Take heed. He is believed that a swamp troll has taken residence below the eastern bridge. Use extreme caution when crossing, or better yet, don't. Stop by the flower shop is what we have to go, but we have to find the soul um, jewels. Let's take a look at the Looks like the black lantern is part of the LARP. The Maggie Emporium arrived at the night, transforming an empty storefront into a fully stocked magical supply shop. Mortal residents are encouraged to come by and pursue our wares. Oh, <laughs> that's freaking Ryan! So stupid. I should Riley. probably drop in on Riley and what is this? In hey, I made Ryan tell me what the USB is for. He was being vague for my own production. Oh, don't worry. I'm gonna try my best to get you access. Oh my God. No guarantees. Depends how good the password is. Thank you so much for even trying. We weren't sure if you would. Well, you deserve the truth. Typhon obviously hiding something. Mac is still scared to death of them. Anyway, I'll be at the shop if you need anything. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, so Riley's gonna get something, you know, done. Okay, I guess we'll go in here first. Wanna look in here? Yeah. Let's go in. Even though there is a blood trail leading into the entranceway, I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, I love how it's like zip tied to the sign. <laughs> That's so cute. <gasps> oh no, something happened. What happened here? Oh, this is cool. It's so detailed. Fellow survivors, I see. Um. Are you hurt? Are you hurt? <laughs> Hardly my first monster attack. I know an escape trick or two. Remember, he's an actor. <laughs> Do you know what this key is for? Belong to Barry, the tavern keeper. That's his leg over there. Nice. Oh. So, if you want to try all of the locks, I'm sure he won't stop you. Let's see what we can find around here. 
I'm a genius for convincing Steph that my character should be alone behind the bar. I All thought the drinks I want. I thought he would be hmm. be like, not sure how I feel about right. that. Right. I thought he'd be like, oh, I'm so, I'm so happy to help uh, Ethan. No, he's more concerned about, hey, I can get drinks. We're gonna have to deal with this, aren't we? Yep. Okay. Let's see what else we can. I love the like the dismembered blims all over the place. That's great. Steph really went all out in here. She really did. Yes. Um, about that ale. I see you've poured yourself some ale. Uh, on the house, Ned will hear of this. Should I kind of like, Ned, because it's Jed, <laughs> should I say something? Because Jed is our boss and he's been helping us, so I feel like I need a snitch. I heard Barry the Tavern Keeper has a son, Ned, who's very observant. So, Barry's like 100 years old? How did you survive? How did you survive the attack? Well, I'm not proud of it, but I tripped an elderly woman. <laughs> she had a comment. Stingy dish wench. Damn. Want to tell him about our quest? We're on a quest to end the age of monsters. So you won't have to live in fear anymore. Are you now? Let me give you something that you may find useful. What is Thanks. that? I'm gonna go ahead and guess we'll be Ooh, meeting a snake. Uh, snakes with uh, snakes within hearing must fall asleep. Cool. All right, we're getting more items. I'm glad that I'm talking to everybody. We're gonna keep looking around. Good luck. Okay. Okay. I think I checked all the compartments. I actually feel bad for that person. Okay, hang on a second, if Ethan. If a monster, and you only had your guitar, would you smash their head with it? Be honest. Um, yes. Of course I would. <laughs> Probably instinct. Are you sure? Yes. I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> Rough day for Barry the Tavern Keeper. Okay, let's see what else we got. House Bard. Sorry, Steph. Alwyn is pretty happy with her current gig. House Bard wanted. Seeking a house bard to entertain at uh, dinners, dances, beheadings, etc. Must be witty, perceptive, generous at heart. Black hair preferred, cute smile of pl plus. Excellent co <laughs> conversation. <laughs> Is that directed at Alex? <laughs> Old sword for sale. See, um, Eowyn the blacksmith. Repel monsters with the secret blend of herbs. Only four gold coins with the recipe. Meet behind Gulliver's on Monday at midnight. It didn't work at all, you hack. <laughs> Anyone else been hearing spooky sounds around the castle? Yes, no. Ooh. Now, that's actually really cool. She's, she's got... Man, I'm so proud of Steph for doing all of this. Look, money! We're gonna need that. Can buy some herbs or something. I don't know. I want to focus on Ethan right now. Okay, fair enough. <gasps> Sheet music. What happened to the rest of the music? Hypnotic f f fug. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> um. Well, yeah. Where's the rest of it? Did it just get like ripped in half or something? This kingdom has serious Wanted problems. poster. Ooh. And the Storm Rider. That's the one that I picked. The 13th quinquennial meeting of the Daegu Biscuit Boys is hereby called to order. I'm sorry to announce that all six of us remain upright and above uh, ground. Uh, first point of order. Ducky, if you had to guess, though, how much longer are you fixing to live? Just long enough to collect, Gordon. And what the heck is that longer. about? I'll crawl graveward with your shares clutched in my stiffening fingers. You mark my words. Okay. That better be washable. <laughs> Here we go. Tattered scroll. This probably has the answer to that riddle. Oh, yes. Balin Nira Dazis. 
Long ago, it is said when unspeakable terror reigned even in daylight, four heroes faced the great shadow of the Kaelin Shores. For days, the battle raged, until the powers of the great shadow overwhelmed the four heroes, pushing them to the brink of death. There, among the waves stained with blood, with the, with the heroes that gave their lives, calling upon the ancient spell that pulled their souls from their body and fashioned them into three stones of immeasurable power. From Nira, the berserker, strongest of the four, came the soul Ruby. From Desi's, the cleric, weaver of stories, came the soul Sapphire. From Balin, the illusionist, keeper of the old books, came the soul's Amethyst. With all three jewels in hand, the four hero took upon their sword and struck down the great shadow, piercing it with light. Then, weary and bloodied from battle, the fourth hero hid the jewels away and wandered into the deep wilds of ruin, never to be seen again. So, Balin, Nira, and Desi. So that's, the, that's the three names we have to remember. Steph thought of everything. She really did. She's I'm so impressed. At this. Guess Lawrence is going to need a new business advisor. Dear Lawrence, I write to amend the advice I gave you when we last dined together. There is no need to sell your business. I am confident the Age of Monsters will soon come to an end. I have it on good authority that His Majesty calls for heroes was answered, but none other than Thanor, the legendary monster slayer. And he probably just, yeah, got eaten or something. <laughs> anyway, um, I think that's everything that I can look at, right? So now we can look at the chest. Someone knows how to keep Thanor busy. Bye. All right, that's everything that we could look at. But I'm glad we got some help from the old gnome or Ducky. <laughs> he gave us some stuff. And also we found uh, another spell for Alex. Check out what I found in that chest. What'd you find? Ooh, dodge. You and your allies will dodge the next attack. Nice work, Thanor. Perfect. I feel like there's more stuff to find in the Black Lantern. Wait, is there? There was some really interesting stuff in there. Is there more stuff? Because I don't want to miss anything, you know what I'm saying? Hang on, can I talk to the Jester now that we know the freaking see, names? I warned you not to go. Ready to answer? I'll say it once more. There are three, it is said. Heroes long dead. Fashioned into soul jewels. Blue, violet, red. What are their names? Do not be misled. Their names are... Um... This one. The answer is Nira, Dasis, and Belen. You solved the riddle you've been told. Your prize? A useful hint. What Behold. is that? To bribe that deadly troll of old, you have to pay four coins of gold. Ooh, okay. Four coins. Got I it. think we have two now because I got one from Ryan and then uh, that one I more. found in the because cavern. Because you solved my purse, you may take one gold from my purse. Oh, sick. We got three now. Thank you, sir. Can we hear another riddle? Oh, uh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> I only had one prepared. That's okay. It's okay. This guy's a fraud, I have declared. <laughs> Not bad, Thanor. <laughs> that poor guy. Anyway. Thanks. Thank you for the coin. Okay, now we got three. So we need one more and then that's it, right? Okay, I'll come back to the bar and see if we can find anything. But there was like I a thing. I wish we could go back to the tavern. When it's full of people. Right, and not dismembered was body full limbs. Of people. Alive people. Obviously. I feel like there's more stuff to find in the Black Lantern. Is there? Did I really miss something? Oh my gosh. Alex is right. But I was just trying to have a little fun. Gotta oh, he's pissed at fun, me. Ducky. For your own good. Dude, come on. You can't be doing that, though. What did I miss? Did I... Oh, the music box! I did miss this! That could be what for the- Thanor! The key is, right? Did you see this? That's got to be it! <gasps> we got there! It's I missed the, the sapphire, that's what I missed. <laughs> Oh, that's Sapphire, one of the jewels, I should say. 
All right, perfect. We found one. Now we just need two more. One down, two to go. That wasn't so bad, right? Now I feel more confident we can find the others. Okay, let's see what else we can find around town. Ooh, another scroll. Hey, kid. You responsible for that massacre in the Black Lantern? <laughs> We're the good guys. <laughs> right. Of course. Oh my god, I love it. Uh, extra turn. Cool. Got another scroll. Cool. What? Um... What else can I look at? Go get him, Ethan. I'm Thanor. Go get him. Thanor. Aww, that's sweet. Even the people who are, aren't LARPing are still like, Could there be something you know. down the alley? Wait, what alley? There's an alleyway? Oh wait, no, there, there is, right? Where's that alleyway? This Could way. Could there be something down the alley? I'm going, Alex. This is boring. Oh, dead guy. Shh, they're here. Woe is me. Woe is me. Behold, my love has been slain by yonder river monster. Where? Just down the... Yonder... Alley. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Near the river. Alas, alas. I mean, great acting. This guy's, like, really pissed off, though. <laughs> Mike Lawler, can someone please explain why everyone in Main Street is dressed like a Renaissance festival throw up on them? The Age of Monsters have deceded upon our fair Hamlet. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Listen not, sir, to those who would tell you to abandon home for the great hero Thanor has arrived at our gates. What does this mean? I just wanted to get some ice cream. Ah woo! Right, is that you? <laughs> wow. Oh my god. That actually felt really sad. Yeah. Beware of river monster. <sighs> Alright, let's fight the river monster. Where you at? Where you at, river monster? <laughs> it's Ryan again. <laughs> Some kind of snake. I guess. <laughs> He's like wearing a dragon helmet too. This is even funnier. Dude, what are you? <laughs> Do we have to fight it? Why wouldn't we? It's cute. I mean, it's kind of cute, isn't it? <laughs> what are you talking Wait, about? Wait, no, that's not me. Oh my god, that's not me flirting. Did he take that as flirting? I'm sorry. I'm gonna attack. What do you want to do? But Ryan is adorable right now. Oh, the bell, the bell. Ophidian chime. Snakes within hearing must fall asleep. Pretend... That's a low sound. Snake's ears are internal. Ryan, so shut ears. up! <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this freaking guy. Oh, he dropped something. Yes, more loot. Thank you. We more didn't have loot. to battle him. All right, let's make some ears bleed. Horrid disharmony. Ooh, we got a new battle technique. Perfect. Wait, what's that? Oh, there we go. One of the stones. Another it's one. It's like a dragon scale or something. Maybe it's got magical powers. Let's hang on to it. Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, yeah. I thought it was a uh, was uh, one of the jewelry. Okay, never mind. Good job, Ethan. That was so smart of you to use the bell. It worked out. Shit. That didn't take long. Oh, <gasps> Diane, lost one oh, flash drive. I think I had it last time I was at the Lantern. Ernio, please, if anyone finds it, get in touch with me. Immediately, I'm offering a reward. I'll keep an eye out. Thank you. Rough. Hope you find it. What kind of reward? You have it? No, but depending on the reward, I'll try a lot harder to find it. Oh. <laughs> well, we're going to see later on what they Can't could wait be. to transfer oh, the it monsters is. with my sweet hypnotic jams. There's the rest of the sheet music. Perfect. Oh, another one. We're Another like master dodge. scroll seekers. I think yep. we are. 
Okay. We handled the river serpent. Thank you, adventurers. <laughs> okay, we got that down, which is great. Can I go in, in here now, right? I bet there's something fun in the record store. Oh, blacksmith. Oh, there. I hear you've dealt with the river serpent, huh? More than just talk, are you? Everything okay? You seem pretty, um, grumpy. I've forgotten the damn components of sun silver. Don't suppose you know the composition? No? Um, if we find out, we'll tell you. I won't hold my breath. He's angry. Bah! What a thankless life. Being a smith in the age of monsters. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, he's I thought really he was pissed about this. being LARPing, but like, no, he's actually really into us. That's actually cool. I'm guessing this is a fancy art gallery. Wait, no. It's an emporium. It's an emporium. Knock twice, you say. Okay, wait. Um. Okay, I guess I'll go to the flower shop after this one, and then we can get the last jewel. Because I just don't want to miss anything. Go for it. Knock twice. Monster or mortal? Mortal. Come in. I wonder what Steph is dressed like. Because Ryan had just had a mask. I mean, he was trying, so. <laughs> Sorry about the lock. These are dangerous times. Welcome to the mag. Oh my Emporium. god, she looks so hot! <laughs> She's, She's like, so pretty! Magic shop. That is I'm what a, a Emporium a bit, is. Okay? Okay. Wow! Steph really went all out! Holy Let's crap! See what Steph's done to the place. Holy crap, that's a lot of stuff! Okay, this is cool. I'd like to try one of those bard instruments, please. You'll need to schedule a private appointment. Huh. I'll do that. <laughs> that's not ominous at all. The Sorcery Guild hereby authorized the Mag Magipie Emporium to buy and sell items with magical properties. The Guild assumes no responsibility for the consequences. Oh, okay. Alright. She's scared. When Alex said I'm hot, did she mean it? Or was she just messing around? Never. Oh my god! <gasps> I've never seen Steph feel this way before. Maybe I could reassure her. What? <laughs> Wait! She's actually nervous! She's always so confident. Yeah! Oh, okay, okay, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna talk to her once. Oh my god, I'm actually very surprised about that. He's forging the Sky Sword of Power. Oh yeah? One day, Thanor's gonna find it. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. As a classically trained bard, I gotta say, she's nervous. This not bad. I hope she knows that she does look really hot in that like outfit she's wearing. I mean, she is in general, but like in that outfit. <laughs> um. Anyway, golems, animation fee not included. <laughs> oh, Steph. That's cute. Spells. Spells. Very cute, Steph. Are these spells for sale? To members of the Sorcery Guild only. Sorry. <gasps> oh, tarot cards! Seeking insight? Draw a card. Hmm. Huh. Okay, hang on. Wonder if they have drills for this. Safety protocol. In case of monster attack, number one, gather those who matter. Number two, cast protective circle. Number three, create illusion in other direction. Four, wait, uh, await archmage assistance. Not guaranteed. <laughs> Valkyrie! Warning. Cat is cursed. Do not pet. Why? Yeah. No need to warn me. I want to pet the cat. Does the cat really not like Alex? I guess some heroes are into bards with flashy guitars. But I'm glad Thanor has better taste. Widely believed to be the instrument of the, fe of the fleet silver-tongued bard of champions and savior of Prince Caldron. Priceless, or best offer. <laughs> okay. Let me draw something from the tarot cards. What do I want insight about? Oh. 
Uh, people, things, people, things, people, things. People. Steph. Steph is just awesome. The Fool, a card of spontaneously fearlessness and adventure welcomed gladly. I guess it kind of matches, Steph. People, Ryan. Is that true for Ryan? The Star. I hope so. A card of inspiration, optimism, and hope for the future. I can kind of see that too. Myself. I mean, I hope that's true. Temperance, a card of moderation from the inner calm and balance of perspective. Things. Haven. Yikes. A card of endings, inevitable transformation, and letting go. Can I just say the death card in the tarot deck is not necessarily a bad thing? I people I think people think it's a bad card in general just because it says death on it, but the main like topic of the death card is like transformation, like something happening. It doesn't mean it's bad. Like something ends and then ha something new will happen. You, you know what I'm saying? So just, you know, that doesn't mean something bad will happen, but it is life is strange, so you never know. Typhon. Holy shit. The devil. Unreal. A card of power and dominance and the pursuit of the same. Ooh. My power. You were right, Gabe. The chariot. I'm a superhero. A card of determination, focus, and sculpting one's own destiny. That is true. All right, that was cool. Oh. It's a wonder Valkyrie's ever hungry. What with all the human flesh I assume she consumes. <laughs> There's a memory attached to it. Oh, good. Dude, I hear you, but a combat-based system with no social mechanics is like my fucking nightmare. Are you- Hey, precious. Where did you come from? Are you the one I've been hearing in the walls? Oh, so she was Smart like a little- There's a cat outside the shop. Dude, I don't know little if she doesn't have a cat. Collar. Yeah? I'll call Pike, see if anybody's reported their cat missing. Meantime, guess she's coming to work with me, isn't she? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Aw, that's cute. That actually looks legit. So much detail. Steph really put a lot of detail in this. Okay, time to flirt with Steph, and then we'll get, you know, things for, um, uh, Thanor. Wait, did I read this? Oh, hey. Sun silver. Oh! Then we should tell that blacksmith. Iron, goblin ore, and fire powder. Okay, so a semi-magical compound used to forging the ceremonial weapons, shield, and crest. One set sun silver can shine with brightness of seven suns, making it popular in coronations, weddings, and early morning council meetings. Components. Iron, goblin ore, fire power. The discovery of silver, uh, sun silver dates back to the royal smith of Griffin's Peak, who first fabricated the great sword of Ly Lyspen? Lyspena? I don't know. Kratos, under the direction of high alchemist Robert Wellbrot. That's cool. Okay, time to flirt with my girl. Um, Holy shit. Steph looks fantastic. More than fantastic. More than. Can I just compliment her? Because she's like worried. The streets used to be full of people. The soul sapphire's right there. Oh, okay, okay. For sale. Why is this 10,000 gold? Was I too generous? It was originally 20,000, but. No, I meant. Never mind. <laughs> Maybe. Let's haggle. Let's Would you haggle. consider giving us that sapphire? For for my hand in marriage, ma'am! <laughs> in exchange for something far more valuable. My hand. In marriage. And all of its associated benefits. And... Look at her face! Know, She's in disbelief! I wouldn't offer if I didn't mean it. Even Ethan's like, come on now. <laughs> I mean, oh man, this just got real. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't intrigued, but I'm afraid I can't accept. Damn it! For now. Oh. 
Okay, I'll remember that. Oh my god, she was, she was flustered by that! Set fire right away. It's for a quest to end the age of monsters. I've heard there's a magical fish that lives in the River of Sorrows. Bring me back one of its scales. Oh wait, we got that! And I'll give you the sapphire. Right? That's the thing the that earth. we fought. That was Ryan. <laughs> the snake? One magic fish scale. Impressive. Well, then here's my end of the bargain. Alright, we got it. Staff, yeah, I was being serious about the hand in marriage Only thing. Please one remember more that. Left. Getting there. Um, scroll of advantage. Ooh, nimble. How about troll dust? Because we're probably gonna have to fight a troll anyway. So there's definitely a troll at the eastern bridge. Do you think we can beat a troll? Probably. Wait, how many how many gold do I have? Four. The dude said that we have to give four gold anyway. I think it'll be okay. I hope so. I do. I do. I do. I do. <laughs> she said yes! <laughs> Aw, that's so cute. Man, my dating life could have used a truth spell or two. Unbother, come to Maggie Pie Emporium on Sunday evenings. Meet other unwed hopefuls in the truth spelling environment. Love potions strictly prohibited. Mission one gold. Oh my god, she said yeah. <laughs> She's so happy. Come on, Ethan, let's go. Oh my god, I really hope Ryan doesn't take me calling him cute the wrong way. Oh god, he's probably gonna do it, right? But I didn't mean it like, like, he is cute, but I meant like, the way he was acting was adorable. That's, that's what I meant by that. Damn it, he's probably gonna be like, yo, she's into me. <laughs> okay, uh, we can tell this guy now what we got so he can give us that scroll. Hey, we found the components of sun silver. It's iron, goblin ore, and fire powder. Praise the gods. Of course. How could I forget? Why don't you take that scroll for your kindness? I've no need of it. Thank you, sir. I saw that. Like, right before you picked it up. <laughs> Did okay, you, know? you can have the credit. No, I don't care. I'm just saying. Too late. Credit's yours. Oh my god, it's bald guy. Oh god. One. Two, three, I control me. One, two, three, I control me. This book is written for fucking toddlers. <laughs> Nothing like getting pissed off. Yo, ball guy needs serious book. help. Is this man, he's gonna rage and like murder someone. I'm telling you right now, what's going on with this dude? Come on. Mom. Yeah, it's Aww. close. Disappointed. I thought I would finally get to go in. What, what do you mean? Has Ethan never been in there? Hey, another scroll. Did you see this scroll first? Uh, no. <laughs> All right. He's brave. I wonder how Riley's doing oh, shit. with the Sorry, USB. My bad. I wonder how Riley's doing with the USB. I guess that's, that's all I can go is here, right? Oh, the jogging lady. That run felt amazing. I'm so proud of myself. Aww. Wow. Good for her. She gained the confidence. I'm glad we talked to her. Okay, let's talk to Riley. Mind if I duck in here a second? Uh, real life Aaron barred business. Let's keep the LARP going. I have to, um, renew my bard guild membership. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay. You stand guard, uh, Thanor. All right, cool. Because I don't want to ruin the, the LARP since he's having a good time, so why ruin it? Reduced hours. Oh, congratulations, Riley. I thought she finally said something to her, Eleanor, but no, nah, not yet. 
Okay, we're back in here. Let's see if Riley managed to like open it. I hope she did. Couldn't have done it without you, Nana. Oh. Did you mean this order this twice? If not, I'll send it back on Monday, Riley. Hey there. <laughs> I could ask Riley how progress is going with the USB. Yeah, we should. Okay, do we have any new messages? No, right? Spend gold on magical items. Uh, we haven't done that because I want to give it to the troll. Which may be cheating, but you know. Man, small towns. Everyone's been going out of their way to congratulate Riley these past couple of weeks. She deserves it, right? She got in, so that's good for her. Must be hard to find new employees in a small town. Oh, I hope it works out. Seeking cheerful, friendly staff to assist with store management, flower arrangement, customer service, cash deliveries. We are a family owned business in Haven for almost 25 years. Full or part time hours available. Please speak to Eleanor if you're interested. Nice. <laughs> um. Anything else? So Eleanor's donating all those decorations? Oh! Annual spring raffle. Take home a beautiful arrangement from this year's spring festival. One ticket equal one dollar. All proceeds help Haven Spring Historical Preservation Society. That's nice. Can I- can I buy one? <laughs> um... Sooner or later... Riley's gonna figure out Eleanor's secret. Oh no. What a piece of shit. Hey Riley, I got you a little going away present. It's from that chocolate place we went to on our anniversary last year. I haven't been able to sleep lately thinking about you uh, out partying on your own. Of course I trust you, but there's going to be lots of guys there. And that makes me anxious. Honestly, I wish you would just think about that a little bit. Call me from school if you ever want to talk Mac. What a dick, you're not even dating her anymore. She has no responsibility to tell you who she's hanging out with. You know what I'm saying? And if she wants to be with someone else, why does she have to tell you that? What an asshole. I still hate Mac, dude. What an idiot. They're not even together anymore. For spring festival. These freaking freaking dumbass, I swear. This is just so nice. $500? Dear Riley, you'll need a new computer for your fancy new scholarship. If this doesn't cover it, tell me and I'll write you another check. I am so proud of you. Love, Nana. Oh, that's so nice. Riley's like 300 pages in. Must be a good book. Ooh. I will definitely not touch this. What is this? Oh, password checked. Oh, that's for the USB. Okay, yeah, got it. God, I took that bus here barely a month ago. Feels like it's been years. Hmm. Okay, I think that's all that I can look at. So let's talk to Riley. Any luck with the USB? No, not yet. It's gonna take hours, if we're lucky. Oh. If you wanna check it out, it's running on the office computer, but don't touch anything. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for doing this. You don't have to thank me. It's the least I could do for Gabe. And actually, it's kind of fun. I she didn't realize it. you were so good with computers. Is that what you're going to school for? Civil engineering. Or maybe robotics? It's a lot to figure out. Kind of crazy. You'll figure <laughs> anyway, it out. Let's talk about something else. Okay. Um, Eleanor. I saw Eleanor at the Black Lantern this morning. She probably needed a break from me. I've been nagging her all morning about getting one of those, like, medical alert buttons. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna be four hours away, and she's never lived alone before. Oh, no. Okay, Mac. How's Mac doing? I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, he's around. Probably too embarrassed to show his face. <laughs> yeah. As he should. Especially with that he card. Shit every time I see him. 
I can't get out of this town fast enough. He gives Stay you shit for what? For what? What's wrong with this guy? Let's talk later. What? I'll let you know if I make any progress. I thought Thanks he was again. gonna leave her alone. Why is this guy still harassing her? What the hell? Oh my goodness. I hate people like that. Like, if they broke up with you, or better yet, if they said don't talk to them, just leave them alone. What's wrong with this guy? Freaking psycho. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm guessing we'll probably get a password like later on at the end of the episode. Right now we're supposed to enjoy the LARP, so. Oh god, here comes Ryan again. <laughs> Is he wearing like a wrestling belt? <laughs> He's got a soul jewel right there. <laughs> oh my oh, god. You like my belt? <laughs> it's made of human skin. <laughs> what do you think we should do? Can we pay a gold? Girl. Wait, let me bribe you. How about some gold in exchange for your ruby? You've got my attention? How much? Four. Four gold. I'm a smart bard. Deal. Damn, that quickly? Doing business with you. <laughs> nice. Anything else? Uh. Uh. Say something nice. Why don't you say something nice about each of us? Mm. <sighs> you? put a great deal of thoughtfulness and care into everything you do. And you... see deep into the hearts of people. But you don't let that stop you from believing in them. Okay, Ryan. This troll is emo. <laughs> on a quest. What the hell? Anything you can do to help us out? Hmm. I could teach you to fight like me. Hmm. There you go. Ooh, warrior, strike of wrath. Cool. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> I think that's all we need, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come visit again. Anytime. Okay, bye. <laughs> we didn't even fight three. him. We can go back to the king now. Okay, we'll go. Hey, does anyone know how long the play game thing is going on? Is there t still time to sign up? It looks super fun. Sorry, dude. We're in pretty deep at this point. Enjoy the show, though. Oh, bummer. Maybe next time. I don't okay. have any more gold, right? That Damn. troll is scary. I admit it. Nothing to admit. It's just facts. <laughs> even after you paid him off. He was still scary. Yeah, he had a big ass head is what he had. <laughs> Would you rather be scary or good looking? What? Uh, good looking. Good looking, I guess. You can charm yeah, them. me too. It's such a human weakness. <laughs> the age of- Oh my gosh. Stocking up on scrolls. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut off Ethan there. That's funny what he just said. It's a human weakness. I want to be handsome. <laughs> Charlotte! Oh my god. It's my mom. <laughs> Thanor, the monster slayer. You've come at last. She looks so pretty. Do you remember me from your past adventures? You're Natheria, the forest spirit. You have done well on your quest. This is so the forest cute. notices. She offers a treasure for you to claim. Look, there. <gasps> what is that? The Sky Sword. It's the Sky Sword of Power. It's exactly the same as I drew in the comics. It's got the pincer. And the same grip. And it's got this part. For the jewels! How do they do it? Oh, he's so happy! Can I really take it? Yeah, it's yours. 
Um, use it for good. Promise me you'll only use it for good. Helping others and stuff like that. Okay. right now. if you please. Monsters beware. Prophecy fulfilled. The prophecy is fulfilled at last. Now Thanos' might is unsurpassed. Uh-oh, the bad guy. Which is, what, what was his name? I forgot already. <laughs> sword now and the jewels storm rider the undead i should have known king Tabor was you all along you fools you have collected the jewels i it's need so cool. and brought them right to me uh defy storm rider encourage hmm defy you're wrong the jewels are now part of the weapon that will slay you. Give them to me! <laughs> I love this so much. Okay. Oh, sick! What? <gasps> Um, stirring him. Oh my god, this is so cool because we are getting to see it from Ethan's point of view now. Um, attack. Burning blade. Uh oh. Uh, curse this fire. Uh, okay, okay. Um,. Nimbleness. Advantage. Scroll of advantage. Gotta start using the stuff we bought, you know what I mean? Stirring him! We need Ethan to, like, power up. So... Strike of wrath! Oh. Okay, I'll win. Magic. Hypnotic fugue. Oh. This is so cool. Okay, Thanor magic. Shield of fire blast. Fire blast. Oh. Sorry. Worth it. <laughs> fixed by the gorgeous music. Ugh. Curse this fire. Okay, okay. Um, I'll win. Magic. 
Once again. Bring him. Bring up the tuck. And then Thanor. Burning blade. Oh. Electric cage. No. Oh no. <laughs> uh, curse this fire. Um. Wait, can we do anything about this? Nimbleness. Advantage. Uh. Scroll of advantage. We'll just use more scrolls, because I don't think uh, we can really attack unless we're gonna, you know what I mean. Burning blade! Oh. Magic. Um. Let's do a shield attack. Shield of courage! Unholy lightning storm! Yeah, I figured he was gonna Death do a big attack. To all who defy me! Ah. Uh, curse this fire! Am I good? I think we're still okay. Alright, um... Horrid disharmony. Let's do this. Horrid disharmony. your fault at all oh it wasn't poor baby it's okay. not his fault like i said it he's wasn't. just a kid like how did he know that was gonna happen it's their fault and remember we did find a bunch of posters that they said they were gonna uh, do a blast again i didn't think it was gonna be during the larp though that's horrible charlotte back here Oh, can we finally see her studio? Because I always wanted to see it. Wow! Hey. Thanks for coming. Of course. Ethan's dad already pick him up? Yeah, they just left. Okay, that's... I hope he's okay. I just wanted to thank you. Ethan needed today. I mean, I'm glad he had fun while, you know. It was a group effort, but I'm glad I could help. He thinks the world of you, you know. Aww. After everything, I think you're sort of his hero. Aww. He's sort of mine. How creative he is. You must be so proud of him. He was so thrilled to see you show up with the sword. I think that was mostly about the sword. Maybe. But I think he was happy to see you in his world. Is she okay? She doesn't seem... <sighs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Charlotte? God, Alex, don't mind me, okay? Just... A lot going on. Um, I don't mind. I don't mind you. At all. Do you want to talk about it? You're really sweet, but I'm okay. 
Thanks for swinging by. I'll see you at the festival. Um... <sighs> Charlotte... I can tell some- SAID NO! Fuck, don't you listen? Okay? Shit. I know she didn't mean it. Mistake. What's going on though? Where did that anger come from? Right. Okay, hang on a second. Let's like read some stuff. Hero, dude, thank you so much. You totally killed it. Award-winning bard material right there. Thanks, you're pretty amazing too, you know? Aw, shucks. Oh, here we go again. Dear Alex, what a marvelous event. I am so glad I could participate in today's live action roleplay. It brings me back to my days in theater. Did I ever tell you I once assuaged the role of a Falstaff in my school's production of The Merry Wives of Windsor? With enough liquid prodding, you may one day get to recall a few verses. A thank you for including me in the festivities. It's nice to take my mind off of things. Anyhow, you enjoy your first spring festival. I can still remember mine. Clear as day. Sincerely, Reginald McAllister III. Thank you, Ducky. You were wonderful. Except he was kind of getting drunk, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on here. This hurts to even look at. How much did it hurt to make? Oh, that's for- oh, that's for Gabe, isn't it? There's almost an innocence about this one. I wonder what it's saying. I wonder if she's worried about, like... I don't know how to explain this. wonder what's inside. Like, her saying, like, oh, he wasn't happy to see me, he was happy to see the, the sword. I wonder if she thinks, like... What is that noise? Um, she's worried that Ethan won't look at her the same, like she he looked at Gabe kind of thing? I don't know. It looks like Charlotte is really pouring herself into her art. Um, can I look at anything else? Beautiful. So why does it kind of make my skin crawl? Sadness, grief, despair, frustrating. Okay, let's see what's going on with Charlotte. experiencing like everything crumbling around him seems kind of the same with Charlotte her anger is so intense Maybe there's something here that can tell me why. Gabe, it's your fault. Why would you teach me to need someone again just to go and leave me all alone? Oh, she's in the stage of, like, uh, anger. You know, like, the five stages of grief? She's at the anger part, I think. Alex, it's your fault. Everyone loves you, but I can't look at you without thinking about how fucked everything is since you came into my life. Yikes. Um. Ryan, it's your fault. You were supposed to protect us. Why couldn't you? She's 
she's so angry at everyone around her. But there's something else here. What is wrong with me? I can't let myself feel this way. When did I become such a fucking monster? thing in the entire universe to me and I hate him for so long it was just me and him it took so long to learn how to be okay with that and I was but then Kate I can deal with hating Ryan or you or even Gabe. But Ethan... If he had just listened, Gabe would still be alive. Shit. It all comes back to that. So she, she... The person, yeah, she's really mad at is... I don't think it's a matter of hate. It's just, like I said, it's, it's her way of, like, dealing with everything. Because she since she has to pretend like she's okay... Remember, she's been saying that for uh, a while now. She has to be okay for Ethan's sake. She, she She's kind of resentful towards him because he's a little kid. Like, you can't just be angry at him. So I don't think she, she means that she actually hates her own son. I don't think so. I, you have a valid you you're allowed to feel angry I, I always say that and um, if, if that's how she feels she's allowed to but I don't think she means it though at least I hope she doesn't what you're feeling makes more sense than you think because she's been trying to like be strong none too. of it fucking matters he's dead I wish I were too. This anger could kill her, and nothing I'm saying is helping. What if she needs serious help? That's I could the just thing, cause like sometimes grieving people can't handle it. You know what I mean? And it's not her fault. What do you mean take it away? What? What? I can do it. I can take her anger from her. Wait, is that a good idea what though? What would that do to her? What would it do to me? And even if I can, should I? Um, no. Okay, here's how I'm gonna see this and people were probably not gonna agree with me. I could see where this was going to begin with, but I don't think I should take Charlotte's anger away from her. One, we don't know how that's gonna affect her. Like, if we take her emotion away, does that take it permanently away from her? And at the same time, we don't have any right to take away her anger because this is how she feels currently because she's in the process of grieving. She's allowed to feel angry if she wants to. We have no right to take that from her. And like Alex was saying, it's a little bit dangerous because she's kind of suicidal right now. This is why I said she needs help. But taking that feeling away it, it's kind of like robbing your validation of like what has happened to Gabe. 
like nobody has any right to do that you know what i mean everybody has their own way of thinking and feeling and they should have their right to that it's like a invasion of privacy and this is something that i always remembered from like the the other life is strange games this example in the first game with max um meddling into everybody's affairs the fact that she can like go through everything and then rewind and like change her answer because she knows she has some knowledge of like what the outcome is it's not right either because chloe has called her out on that and um i think i talked about that in my let's play i can't remember though but yeah she doesn't really have a right to do that and um it's the same thing with alex i don't think she has a right to take anyone's emotion i think we can help her in other ways but just taking away her feelings is not right in my opinion i don't see that actually helping her in the long run she has to process it and uh she just needs support i'm hoping that she'll calm down and she'll be able to talk with others but maybe alex is not the right person to talk to or even ryan she may need to talk to somebody else like jed or something like that you know i can't i'm sorry charlotte i hope i'm making the right choice but that's how i feel i don't think it's right for me to take it I'm gonna- I don't want to apologize and I don't want to leave with nothing, but I want to assure her that, you know, we are still there for her, even if she feels like she hates everybody. You're strong. You'll get through this. I guess we'll find out. God, please tell me she's not gonna do something stupid. I hope not. But yeah, like I said, I don't want to remove it. It's not right. Okay, okay. Hear me out. Is Tarfin um, run by the Illuminati? What are they talking that about? That would explain <laughs> the conspicuously triangle-shaped logo. Boom. Finally cracked it. Hey. Alex. So... How did things go with Charlotte? Not good, dude. I couldn't help her. It's kind of private. Oh, God. I don't know if I... It, it, okay, see, here's the thing. Normally, I wouldn't want to share details because it's personal, but I do think Charlotte does need help, so I, I can't keep this to myself. I don't know. She was hurting so much. I thought I'd be able to help her, but I couldn't. If you couldn't help her... I'm sure no one could. Yeah, I know what you mean, but- So please tell me that the USB stick revealed all of Typhon's secrets. Not yet, but Alex. What? We found a recording of Gabe's call. What? I should okay. probably listen to Did you to listen to it? Oh god, it's gonna be something bad, isn't it? She was keeping all this to protect herself, so what could that mean? I need to know. We're here for you. Okay? Hi Alex, it's Ethan. I'm really sorry about that. The LARP was amazing. Really, you are badass. You don't have to apologize. I had so much fun with you. Have a great time with your dad and stay safe. Okay, um, I don't think there's like anything- Oh, there's something for- Oh, he oh, here we go. Ethan, Joy. I guess I'm used to the feeling like the whole world changes when I take on someone's emotions, but what Ethan's Joy did to Haven, the way it lost out the entire town and dragged it into the his fantasy? I've never experienced anything like that. I've actually felt Alex dissolve, slot off, and underneath was just Alwyn. It felt good to try in a different history, to remember a different life in a different world. But when the sirens came and Haven stepped back into focus, I don't think fantasy Alice could have done what I did. Ethan didn't need her. He needed me. That felt good. Monster or mortal, the forest notices. Skyward uh, of power. Horrible creatures stalk the streets. Exactly the heroes I need. We can pry jewels from the claws on your behalf. Or we can wear masks and stalk the streets. Are we monsters or are we mortal? Whichever you need me to be. Charlotte, anger. Some anger blisters like old film stock stuck in the projector. It eats you up from the inside, melts away everything else until you are all but a brittle shell of boiling mass of blame and guilt. 
Make some art. It's supposed to help, right? But it doesn't. Just fills your shop with reminders of what shitty person you are. Don't know how I knew I could do it. It was like suddenly noticing an extra limb, somehow invisible until they are mo until the very moment I thought it to use it. I could reach inside, find Charlotte's anger, turn it down, and turn it off. Teach me to need some someone again. I can't look at you. It's supposed to protect us. When did I become such a fucking monster? But I didn't. I could have, but I didn't. I didn't know what it would do to her. Who she'd be after. I took that pain away. It felt like such a violation. Hadn't she earned her right to be angry? Exactly! And also, I think that's one thing also. Experiencing the emotions and stuff like that is what makes us human. The good and bad doesn't matter what the outcome is, it still makes us human. And I still want Charlotte to have that. It's also, in this really twisted way, I feel like it kind of ties in her love for Gabe too. She's gonna need that in the future if she's gonna remember him, you know what I mean? I feel like taking away her stuff isn't gonna help her. I was so sure that I was helping people that whatever else I am, I could at least offer this one thing to those who need it. But Charlotte's heart is bigger than me, stronger. I have to hope that I can do more good by walking away than by meddling. I'm carving you out of stone. Finally learn how to need someone. Crack off a cop and penny for your thoughts on the fucking monster I've become. Okay, I think it's time to listen to this recording. I'm just not sure if we're gonna like what's on it. Type in safety. Mac? It's me. Fuck off, Chen. Yeah, yeah, okay, just listen. I need you to call off the explosion. Ethan's in the blast radius. Shit. He could get killed. What the hell's wrong with you? He snuck off. We're, we're up here right now, trying to find him. Mac, please. All right, I'm on it. We'll hold the blasts. Fuck. You can't imagine the headaches this will create for me. Thanks, Mac. Whatever. Just doing my job. Okay. Is that like Diane's they just ticket know. out of there? Like, blame it's Mac so in case they do find out, right? You know it's bad when Mac turns out to be the good guy. Right, exactly. You okay? We're taking these fuckers down. Mm-hmm. This USB stick has what I need. Time to dig through it. Ooh, we can look through everything, finally! Talk about looking for a needle in a haystack. We're gonna right, let's look there. at Gotta stuff. Gotta find joy in the little things. Right, Gabe? A key part of any good investigation. Fried rice is pretty good. Brian brought this down from his station. Hope it comes in handy. A cold case and a warm beer. Oh, angry and sa- oh! We're going to get them for you, Gabe. Mm. We're gonna get them, okay? Yeah, I know we will. Whatever's going on with Typhon, it wasn't worth Gabe's life. So, how fucked are we? If we can't work it out ourselves, I could always just seduce the truth out of Diane. <laughs> <laughs> really think so. Uh, yeah. You saw me in action, right? Right. Okay. Let's Gates see. Gates call freaking laptop, came in please. from the sat phone at 8:41 p.m. I should find the next call and see if that has any information. Okay. 8:41 p.m. Chicken. The hell? Okay. Oh, this is kind of cool. Okay. 8:41. This is the this phone, right? This one. Can we listen to all of them? Because I'm just curious. This is ACSD. How can we feed you? Is the good picking chicken thing still going on? It sure is. Nice. Uh, let me get a large order of the spicy nugget. Excellent choice. And would you like the biscuit and gravy or the mashed potatoes and gravy? Oh. Yo, I'm uh, kind of hungry okay. listening to this. I, uh, I kind of want food. Sir? Oh, fuck. Um, sorry. Do you do you need a minute? No. No, no. I'm uh, going to go with the bis uh, potatoes. Yeah, let's just do potatoes. You could do both for 50 cents extra. Oh my god. <laughs> still there? Yeah. No, um, no, that's okay, just the potatoes. Okay, I've got you down for a large order of spicy nuggets with potatoes. Uh -huh, That'll uh -huh. be ready for you to pick up in about 30 minutes. Thanks. That was riveting. Lace Flowers, this is Riley, how can I help Lace, you? Lace, that's how you hey, pronounce babe, it. it's me. Mac, hey, 
What's up? I'm on lunch. Oh, you're not gonna believe what J-Man did this morning with some of the new dyes. Hey, so I'm not sure about this part here. It's Mac. Some of the Is new dynamite. Hey, Mac, can we talk later? I'm kind of busy. Busy how? Let's hang out when you get off, okay? Hold up, why is Gabe there? Okay, talk soon. I love you. Wait, Riley! Oh, Mac. Hi, Belts Plumbing. How can I help you? Hi, I'm, uh, I'm of Typhon Mining. I think we had one of your plumbers up here last week. Typhon Mining. Uh, give me just one second to check our records. Yes, I have a record of a service call regarding some sewage backup. Yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah, so, um, I don't think it's fixed. The field report I have says that the issue was diagnosed and solved. Can you describe what you're seeing? Oh, uh, it, you know, I, I really can't. Look, can you just send someone? I'll have someone out to you later this afternoon. Great. Have a nice day. Yeah, I doubt it. Nasty. <laughs> Ew. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Hi, Diane. It's Rose, down at Town Hall. Hey, Rose, how are you? Oh, I'm busy as a bee this time of year. You have a second? Some folks have come in here with some questions about the expansion and all that. I was hoping you could give me some answers to pass along to them. I'll do my best. What are the questions? Let's see here. Okay, first question. How many jobs do you expect to create by opening a second pit? We'll be starting with 25 new positions, but that number is expected to grow to 45 within the first year. Oh, give me just a moment here to jot that down. Alrighty, next up. A uh, number of questions regarding risks for pollution. Water, air quality, etc., etc. Anything you can offer there? You know, let me pass that on to our environmental outreach department. They'll get back to you with all the relevant fact and figures. Oh, sure, sure. No problem at all. And last one. They want to know if there will be more mining vehicles driving through town. Yes, we will be increasing our transportation needs somewhat with the expansion. But to minimize okay. disturbance, we plan to direct drivers to stick to approved trucking routes. And of course, never after 6 o'clock. Never after 6. Thanks so much, Diane. That's all I have for you right now. My pleasure. Have a good one, Rose. You too. Diane is really good at pretending to be a person. <laughs> Damn, okay. Typhon Mining, this is Brandon. Hello, I'm calling from the Department of Land and Resources to confirm the inspection set for next week. Yeah, let me grab Diane for you. Thanks. This is Diane. Hi, Diane, I'm calling to... Confirm inspections? <laughs> yes. Did you have a chance to look over the email I sent? I did. Everything looks great. Glad to hear it. I'll see you Thursday then. Mm-hmm, have a good one. You too. There must be a lot riding on these inspections. Okay, so I this is Gabe, it. right? Mac? It's yeah. me. Fuck off, Jen. Okay, okay. It's Diane. We have a problem. You're kidding. There's a kid lost in the mountains near the pit. We need to postpone. Lena? Haven is your site, Diane, and therefore this is your decision. I know I don't need to remind you of the stakes. Someone could be hurt. Or killed. We've been over this. Anyone up there has disregarded posted notices and accepted full liability. What the We're fuck? about a child. I'm just asking for one day. If you postpone tonight's scheduled blast, you put Rhea in jeopardy. That puts the whole company in jeopardy. Is that what you want? No. Then do the math and make the right call. Email what? me when it's done. I will. What the hell is Rhea? Must have been pretty damn important. Maybe Diane says more about it in her email? Maybe. Let me see if I can find it. Rhea? The fuck? Okay, hang on. Let's just see the rest of this. Investigations. Ben is speaking. Hi, Bennett. This is Diane Jacobs. Lena told me... Yep. Been expecting your call. Okay. I'm not sure what the next step is. Just need all the pertinent information on the employee in question. Name, number, address, significant others. We'll handle the rest. Significant okay. others? So they There's were looking else. for Riley, too. So Mac wasn't being paranoid. That's down. why he wanted to take her out of town. The records that you were even there. Got it. Okay. I'll come by tomorrow. Looking forward to it. It's so gross that Typhon has people watched. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Hello, Diane. My name is Rory Praha. I'm a journalist with the Rocky Mountain Gazette. We'll be printing a story on last night's accident in the paper tomorrow. Would you like to provide a comment? Yes, I would. Last night's accident was tragic and made all the more unfortunate by the fact that it could have been avoided with a simple phone call. A simple phone call? Can you speak more about that? Of course. 
Typhon always has a safety manager on duty. One quick call from Mr. Chen to our 24-hour emergency line would have alerted us that there were people hmm. in the danger zone. Hmm. And we so she's trying to cover it up. Yeah, so they're acting the like our he never called, of in course. danger of meeting the same fate as Gabe Chen? Absolutely not. As long as you heed the warning signs, you will be safe. And if you ever do find yourself in an emergency, that's what our emergency line what is What a for. bitch! I'm sorry. No Such a liar! We'll be sure to include your comments. Oh Thanks my for giving God. me your time, Diane. Have a nice day. I almost threw up listening to that. Same. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Diane, it's, uh, it's Jason. Hello, deputy. You have good news for me? I... Suppose I do. You are officially cleared to continue regular operation. Right. The county no longer considers your pit an active crime scene. Well, that's a huge relief. Now, to be clear, the investigation is still open and active. Typhon hasn't been cleared of anything yet. Sure, I understand. But can we start mining again? Yes, you can start mining again. That's all they care is there about. Else? Nope. No, nope, that's it. Well, thanks for the call. Yeah, no problem. Take care, Diane. You too. Seems a lot easier to get away with murder than you'd hope. Typhon Mining. Diane? Oh, hey, Joe. How are you? I'm good. Doing real good. So I have a pretty good list of candidates to go over with you. Looks like I've got 40 names. Great work. When can we go over it? Uh, hey, Diane? Can I be candid for a moment? Please. It's just... Well, we've all been following the news and... I don't know... After that accident, Joe, I just want to be sure there really are positions waiting for these people. There's nothing to worry about. If she keeps saying that, and then we heard to in town me, all the I people are worried about their job. Them. Glad to hear it. You free Tuesday oh afternoon? God. Around three? Sure. Great. Looking forward to it. Me too. See you later, Joe. I hope Typhon has a nice severance package. It's messed up. Okay, let's look through the emails. Seems like a lot is hanging on these inspections. Okay. Dear Diane, I want to congratulate you on your efforts in Haven Spring expansion campaign. I just got word back from the state that we officially passed inspections. Pop up some champagne. You've earned it. And now that's left to vote. I've been hearing great things about your progress in the town members. Sponsoring the Spring Festival was a nice touch. Keep up the great work. We're in the home stretch. Dennis. The frig is Dennis? This is the email Diane mentioned. So what is Rhea? I warned you. Oh, wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Seems like a lot I is hanging these. on these. Whatever Typhon was up to, it looks like they've all but gotten away with it. Okay, hang on, hang of on. Of course, that was Diane's idea. Sorry, I didn't know I could. I'm gonna I could make press sure on. this expansion fails if it's the last thing I do. This is the email Diane mentioned. So, what is Rhea? Okay, I warned you, Lena. I fucking warned you. Rhea went off, undetected, and you insisted. And now someone is dead. You have a better have a plan. I am not going down for this, at least not alone. I understand that you're upset and emotional about one tragic, unavoidable accident. Okay, who is this person? Therefore, I am choosing to overlook this momentary lapse of judgment. I'll call the first thing tomorrow to discuss how we move forward. I suggest you take the night off to cool. What the hell? Rhea went off undetected. Was there a second blast that night? They only had permits for one. What did Lena say? Without the scheduled blast, Rayo would be discovered? Shit. The blast that killed Gabe was just a cover for another explosion? We didn't hear another explosion, though. Must have gone off somewhere else. If we can find out where it was, that might tell us what it was for. Am I allowed to read the other emails? Because I didn't mean to. Pro okay, thank God. Okay, I was about to say, wait. I'm not done looking a at everything. second blast. That's a Bond villain type stuff. Mm -hmm. He had a name and yeah. a life and a girlfriend and a sister. And a son. I bet this is when Diane decided to start copying evidence to this USB stick. Right. Wow. That's a funny way to spell criminal negligence. Mm -hmm. Damn. Is this what Diane sold her soul for? Hello, Diane. After our recent conversation, I took the liberty of ex uh, expediting your application to our executive training program. We will move forward with your enrollment as soon as you have the situation in Haven all wrapped what up. What a polite way of saying, I control you and don't forget it. Mm -hmm. Situation? 
You mean that guy you killed? Too bad money can't fix all of Typhon's problems. Hello, Diane. Sorry to hear about the troubles you are having with your hauler. I spoke to some folks about getting the brakes fixed, but given the upcoming expansion, I've decided to go ahead and buy a new one. We'll see you out on the 789 hauler. It should be efficient enough to handle two pits. The bad guys say that they'll have it next week. Wait. Does this mean someone at Typhon feels actual human emotion? He's talking about it like it's a sure thing. Hmm. Who would have thought getting away with murder would be so bureaucratic? Right. Hello, Diane. I'm emailing to inform you that there was a set date for the uh, inspections on the two sites. Please thoroughly review the information below. I'll give you a call in the next couple of days to confirm the details. Uh, decommission, blah, blah, blah. We'll be going down to the close uh, shaft to ensure Typhon has taken proper per precaution to stabilize the post collapse and proper shaft closure procedure followed. This is general protocol inspection. Please run the business as usual and stay. Look forward to it. The timing of all this is too convenient to be right. a coincidence. And I thought above ground mining was terrifying. Okay, so let's look at the files now. Second blast. Diane has dossiers on the entire Haven Council. That's not creepy at all. Okay, pressure points. Oh my gosh, for business on the left of flowers, granddaughter's student loans, medical expenses, uh, native to Haven Springs, Eleanor is well respected by the council members and citizens alike. She holds considerable sway, but it's unlikely to discern her own. Though the granddaughter is close to Gabe Chen, she appears no question Typhoon's account of an accident. Jed Lukin. Jed is viewed as a local hero due to the rescue of 19 hell divers during the collapse of 2008. Strongly ally, use them as a resource to secure other council members' votes if necessary. Charlotte. Pressure points. Business overhead. Sons College savings. A well-known small business owner in Having, Charlotte will prove instrumental in getting in the buy-in of both business owners and 20 to 30 demographic. As Gabe, Gabe Chen's girlfriend, she may lose cause. Uh, corporate approved making a financial offer you'll receive details soon. Ducky. Uh, grieve over deceased wife. A strange relationship with daughter. Oh, maybe that's what he was upset about before. We've been able to dig up a little bit about Ducky's past, but we know that he arrived when he was shortly after resigning the board of his own company due to falling out with his daughter. Ducky has voted with Jed in every prior instance, making his vote all but secure. Um, Jason. Career Sheriff's Deputy seems to have a crush on you. J uh, Jason Pike has a uh, Sheriff's Deputy in Haven for over eight years. He is the company of the skimmed over small violations and past when we see no evidence to harvest anti-typhoon sediment. Double down on Typhoon's commitment to the community. Likely your best angle. So she has a shit on everybody. Oh my god. Typhoon knows about Eleanor's dementia. Shit. That's not good. It won't be so secure once we tell Jed what really happened that night. Mm -hmm. I knew that affidavit gave me a bad feeling. Poor Ducky. I didn't know. What? Pike has a... Okay. Bigger fish to fry right now. Yeah. Okay, um... I'll get the schematic in a second. Hang on. Code name. Injury. What the hell? This is about Rhea. But it doesn't tell me where it was. That's exactly the same time the blast that killed Gabe went off. I guess Mac was right to be so paranoid. Surveillance of subjects home begins at 9.30. John McCormick. Subject remains outside of view until 1 p.m. where he appears to use the bathroom. Subject has left home at 8 p.m. Was tailed to dispensing back home. Subject remained at home for the remainder of surveillance. That's so creepy! Subject remained at his home all day. Received a visitor... Uh, identified as former girlfriend Riley, who was inside and stayed under for an hour. Subject's behavior appeared to be inconsistent with depression. Subject was following the wake. Uh, subject er argued with girlfriend and seen talking with a woman identified as Alex Chen. Erratic behavior observed from the subject seems to have con after interaction. Slight risk remains. Holy shit. Mac's real name is John? <laughs> it feels wrong to be looking at this. <laughs> and yet, I can't fuck. They saw that? Yeah, of course they did. Okay, so the schematics, this right? This is Rhea. Fuck. This map's too small to tell where this is. I need a map. That's the site of the 2008 Typhon mine collapse. Oh! Wait. They set off a blast in their current mine to cover up a blast in their old mine? Why? That shaft was exhausted years ago. There's nothing left to dig up. What could possibly be down there that's so important to them? Typhon just had to pass a bunch of inspections at the old site, didn't they? 
Yeah, so? So, I don't think they were digging something up. Right, they probably weren't. They were burying something. Can't help but th I think this is related to Jed and Jed's wife, Ryan's mom. Why she passed away and everything. I don't know. I'm getting a sense that it's going to be related to Ryan's past. Oh, no. Okay, so that is interesting. Okay, we're going to end this episode right here. I'm glad we had fun with Ethan, with the LARP. That was pretty funny with everybody. I'm also glad we got to flirt with Steph and hope she knows that. But now we're getting an uncovering to, like, what Diane has been keeping. So... There seems to be a second blast, and it's in the old mine. I'm just wondering what they could be hiding, because that's confusing me. But definitely, I think Jed may know or has a clue what can be, because they bought him the Black Lantern to shut his mouth, right? I don't, I, I don't know what the time frame of when the wife died, because when we were hearing memories of her funeral, or her wake, it sounded like Ryan wasn't that young compared to now. Maybe this happened like a couple of years ago. You know what I mean? So we might be related to her. Mac is still an idiot, but again, I don't blame him for this. Diane, on the other hand, I don't know. Seems- I, I still don't think I can trust her because she was still willing to kill people in order to cover up whatever is over there in the mountain, you know what I mean? So I guess we will find out what it is. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you know when I upload the next episode of Life is Strange True Colors. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!